Hey, America, don't you dare hurt the felon's feelings. An agency within the Justice Department saying it will no longer use names like convict or felon when referring to criminals. No siree. They say those names are disparaging labels. Now a past criminal will be called person who committed a crime or individual who was incarcerated. Now, Morgan, what's going on here? Listen, what's next? And I really mean this. Are we going to call rapists people who committed rape? Are we going to call terrorists in the future people, humans who committed terrorist acts? Uh, listen, the Title 18 of the of the federal government is, is the criminal and penal code. So there's a reason why in our laws we refer to people as criminals and felons. There's no need to change all of that. And, and I'm really worried uh, that it's, it, of course, it's PC gone amok, but you know, when does it stop? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've already started to stop calling it the war on terror in yeah. this administration. And, and Juan, what are we trying to do here? Are we trying to not hurt the feelings of felons? I mean, <laughs> and, and criminals, and, 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 you know, did they worry about the feelings of the people they were violating when they did what they did? No, but it, it's but to me, this is not PC per se, because when you think about, for example, how we refer to people with disabilities these days or people with mental illness, you don't go around calling them names that, in fact, keep them in some kind of lower status in the society. And we know about the ban the oh, box on. movement oh, coming on. from, hang anything. on, let me finish. The ban the box movement, because when people are labeled as convicts, it impacts their ability to get work. Hang in there, guys. I'm gonna bring John. John, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, I don't have a lot of respect for convicts. I'm sorry, I don't have yeah, a lot. I don't why. think they're deserving of a that's lot of right. respect. I mean, listen, the problem is, one of the problems is we make a lot of felons here. I believe something like 50% of people in federal prisons are there for nonviolent offenses, mostly drug offenses. So let's stop making so many criminals. But my God, violent people, Eric, they're, in, they're in, uh, incarcerated because they, they act like animals. They're right. locked up because they infringe on people's rights. And I don't respect that Gina, one. Gina, let me add, play devil's advocate here, though. Should they be labeled for the rest of their lives after they've served their time? Okay, first I have a problem with the word served because people serve in the military. When you are doing your time, uh, you're not serving anything. Um, but secondly, the PC police clearly on this, Eric, need to get a hobby because this is not a cause. And if anyone were to make these decisions and change this language, I think it, going back to your point originally, right. let's let the families and the victims of the criminals make the decision on how these people are labeled. I'm going to have to leave it right there. Coming up, taking out of context or a slip of the tongue, what Hillary...